I mean, it's, it's not realistic to sit there and think you're going to get it. Now, as a manager, when I would work as a manager and you would call people and you would talk to people about doing work and they would sit there and, and complain about a fee schedule, but those were also the same people sitting at home complaining that they were broke and not making money. Okay. Right, right, exactly. And, and people aren't willing to sacrifice. You, I could, I have some really strong opinions about this that I can't, that I, I'm refraining from saying, but the... It's either you it's either you want this business, you want to work it, you want to learn it, you know, and, and you sacrifice and you do it. But to come out here and think that that you're going to grab three hundred thousand a year, two hundred thousand dollars a year in your first year. Can you do it? Absolutely. You can do it. And I know yeah, people who do it. OK, but that is the exception, not the norm. OK. And if you have that much confidence in yourself that you're going to do that, hey, keep that confidence. OK. And I hope it works out for you. But again, if it doesn't. You know, you're going to understand why you don't renew your license in two years, you know, because your expectations in reality weren't in sync with each other, period. Yeah. So yeah, that's, uh, I, I see these guys on the internet that do that stuff. And one of them is a friend of mine and I love him to death, you know, and, and I just shake my head because it's giving false hopes. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a disconnect, I think, between the expectations and the, the reality of it. And I think anybody who's who's been in the industry for any in, really any length of time, I mean, even even as little as a year is going to be, you know, at some point in that 12 months, we'll have a I see this is not just going to fall into my lap. I'm not going to be getting twenty five hundred dollars per claim and just do two a day. And they're going to be super easy and I don't have to climb roughs and I can, you know, all this stuff. And, and I'm going to make three hundred thousand dollars a year. Uh, which I I had hadn't heard before, and I was like a little bit shocked. I was like, somebody actually said. He's like, oh yeah. He's like, more than one person. And I was like, you're joking. Nope. They they there's a there's a sense out there. I th I think that there's a there's a little bit of a in some in some places um, a kind of a we're doing that. We're ha we're hacking this. We're you know this is an industry where we're going to get paid and get money and get you know all this stuff. But leaving out the part where it on, all that stuff only goes to people that really work their rear ends off, like 84 hours a week for months, for as long as they can stand it. And like you said, you know, earlier, especially your first year, you know, we talk about relationship building and all that kind of stuff and like learning that learning to, to be an adjuster, right? Like you said, I, could, I can have the best training in the world, which I think I do, but you do. that's still... Our that product. still isn't going to fully prepare. I, I can't. There's just nothing. There's, there's, I, I can get you to the door, right? And then you have to kind of take it from there. And I can tell you, you got to be organized. You have to have your time management down to a, an art and a science. And you have to work your ass off. And you have to be, the, the, the working your ass off part is the efficiency piece, right? So that you can close, it's, vol, it's a volume play, right? The more claims you close, the better. The more money you make. And you can't close a lot of claims if you're not efficient, if you're not good at those claims, because they're not going to give you more claims if you suck at it, and that you're you're you've got great, great customer service, and that applies to not just the homeowner or the property owner, but your manager, contractors, the carrier, you know, team, all those people. You have to be a person who is willing to, at the outset, they say, hey, listen, you know, well, we know you're brand new. We want to give you an opportunity. Um, this isn't like you know the most exciting thing in the world, and and uh, but we wanted we wanted to give you a chance to to do some work. It's two hours one way, and uh, it's a supplement on something, and we just need you to go out there and, and uh, you know, maybe meet with the contractor and, and ask him a few questions about this and then send it up to us, right? Take it. Take it. If they say, hey, we want you to go to Bismarck, North Dakota in January, and you don't want to do that. Well, if you want to be an adjuster, you're doing it, right? You're going to jump in the truck. Hey, that's no problem. I'll, I'll be up there. Send me my files, and uh, I'll be there on Sunday. And then just go, yep. just do it. The, the objective isn't to make $300,000 right out of the gate. The objective is to learn how to do the work, get some numbers on the board and start building those relationships with the firms who will then give you more work. And that's where you make the, you make all that extra money is, is when Hurricane Irma hits or Hurricane Katrina or Hurricane whatever blows up and they say, hey, listen, you know, you've been doing stuff for us for three years now and uh, we really appreciate the stuff you do. 
uh, we want to send you down on these Zurich claims, and it's a bunch of apartment complexes and condos and strip malls and a, an amusement park and, and all this kind of stuff. And you can you will make three hundred thousand dollars doing that, right? But you got to build up that relationship. They're not just going to give it to you. If you're a brand new adjuster working for a major IA firm, you will most likely already be covered under a blanket errors and emissions policy. You probably already pay something like five or ten dollars per claim for this coverage. And what is errors and emissions? Well, if you're accused of messing something up on a claim, your E and O insurance will step in and help you out. But what if you cause damage or injury on a field inspection? For example, your ladder falls down and smashes the insured's brand new Ford F-150 Lightning. Then a general liability policy will cover you in that instance. Again, you likely have a little bit of protection through your IA firm as a newbie adjuster. However, if you've got a year or two under your belt and you make most or all of your annual income from claims work, then you owe it to yourself to upgrade your e &O and general liability coverages to be customized to you. And depending on how many claims you run in a year, there's a very good chance these policies will be cheaper for you with your own coverages. Better and cheaper? Sign me up. There's only one company that provides e &O and general liability solely to the insurance industry, and that is CPLIC, aka Kaplik. They even have drone and cyber coverages. Download the free guide all about the different kinds of insurance you as the adjuster should carry at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And with more than 700 videos, there's plenty more to watch here on Adjuster TV. Don't know where to start? Just go to my videos page here on YouTube and type in a search term right here to find an answer to almost any question you have about property claims handling. And we'll see you in the next one.